Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium free crypto channel. Elon Musk at it again, getting onto that Twitter, posting about Bitcoin, saying he's going to dump it all for Dogecoin. He does us a lot of favors in the crypto market and today is yet another one of those favors. So let's cover what I think is going to happen in the crypto space, looking at the charts, which we have covered for weeks, letting us know about these sorts of price ranges. Ethereum, some support levels, we are getting a good drop on the BTC pair and the dollar pair. And of course, our favorite Cardano, also looking at all time highs on the BTC pair. Very strong in the altcoin space as Bitcoin is dropping. So that gives you a little bit of an, ups, uh, an insight as to what we're talking about next. So be sure to hit the like button down below, bell notification icon after you've hit the subscribe button, nearly at 200,000. We just hit 150,000 yesterday. So thank you very much for your support. Let's dive in. Let's start with the coin market caps. And today we've done a live stream as well. So this is a bit of a recap of that live stream, but there's a lot of good Q&A in there. So make sure you go and check out that live stream after you finish watching this video. Plus I'll have other good videos for your education purposes at the end of this video. You can just click on those, keep watching. $2.1 trillion market cap, Bitcoin 864 million. We have sunk well below the trillion dollar market cap, which some Twitter prominent posters on there we're talking about. We'll probably never see a, a below trillion dollar market cap again. We have now seen that. That's just a little bit of an update it's to never believe anything you hear 100%. Even this video from me or anything that I talk about, please do your own research and have a plan in mind. If that plan uh, consists of coming up with something that works for you, do that. Follow that plan. So the reason we're looking at the market caps is because as we've said in every other beginning of the video, uh, previously in the last couple of weeks, we're just looking to see where the money is flowing. We're still doing pretty well. We only just hit $2 trillion market cap not that long ago, and we're still above it, even with this pretty solid dip on Bitcoin. The money has flown out of Bitcoin, out of Ethereum. Some of the tops are still dropping out as well. So some of the top market caps are still losing value. We can see a solid uh, 9% from ICP, which was just launched. So it looks like a lot of uh, profit taking is going on with ICP. Uh, we're looking at this Chainlink, 23% down on the week. Litecoin, 25% down on the week. Bitcoin Cash, 20% down. Cardano is still up on the week, which we'll take a look at as well. So although the market is losing cash, it's not like we are bleeding extremely heavily. Some may consider that. I don't think so. Not in this crypto space. So market caps are looking okay, especially in this dire time of Elon continuing to tweet. Now, check out my Instagram. It's not all baby pics, I promise you. The stories is what you want to come across for. So make sure you're following my Instagram. Q&As on the daily. I'm answering your questions over there. So post in your questions on my stories. Check that out. And then also my uh, super fund, my, my retirement fund portfolio. You can see that on my story. Twitter, again, follow that. There's a lot of good stuff on here. If you don't have a Twitter account, make sure you get one and you can check in on the crypto news as well and follow smaller accounts as well that have some really good research behind them. I'll tend to repost those so you can get an idea of what to look for. And if you don't want to do your own research, by all means, just enjoy some of the tweets over there. So this is the tweet that we're looking at today. Elon Musk, obnoxious threads like this make me want to go all in on Doge. I love it. He's got the sort of humor that I have, so that's why I get what he's talking about. Other people get super triggered about what Elon's saying. This was the post here. Peter, the perfect troll is one where people don't know whether it is a troll or not. Some people got to lighten the hell up, especially YouTube, Twitter, anywhere. They just they, they take things way too seriously. Your recent poorly informed criticism of Bitcoin and support of Doge may be the perfect troll, or you might actually believe this. God, I hope not. You know, like, anyway. Elon, good retaliation to that. I like it. And then this tweet is the one that started to drop the markets this morning. Bitcoin is actually highly centralized with super majority controlled by a handful of big mining, aka hashing companies. A single coal mine in Xinjiang, hope I said that right, flooded, almost killing miners and Bitcoin hash rate dropped 35%. Sound decentralized to you. So this is true. This is true. But for people who have been in the space quite a long time, you know this comes up time and time again and the market continues to evolve. It continues to grow and expand from what it is, from what it was. It continues to improve on itself. 
this is what happens and this is what is a good sign of a good market, especially a young market. Remember, Bitcoin is only 12 years old. You may have missed out on buying a dollar Bitcoin or thousand dollar Bitcoin or ten thousand dollar Bitcoin, but it's still early days long term for this technology. Now, it's not to say that this technology will win at the end of the day. It may not, but what we've seen in the past even four years from the 2017 bull market is this sort of information around centralization or whether it is actually decentralized and of course how much energy it uses is old news but this time around we are seeing so many more retail people come into the space into cryptocurrency than what we saw in 2017 and so they haven't heard this narrative before they haven't heard that bitcoin isn't as decentralized as they believe it is, or really not that much energy use compared to other financial industries out there. So this is kind of old news to the smaller group of people who have been around since 2013 and the 2017 bull markets. So eventually this sort of news just goes by the wayside, even though it is a big player talking about it, Elon Musk is talking about it, but it's not anything to do with Bitcoin fundamentally. It's It's been known. So the news scares things early on, and then we happen to bounce back from that. Could take a few days, could take a few weeks, maybe even a few months. But in the grand scheme of things, a few months after a dozen years, to me, it's small fish. It's very, very small fish. So if you want to learn more about that and you want to learn how to invest, be sure to join my newsletter. It is free. Okay, just link down below, name, email address, submit. Once every two weeks, a newsletter about crypto, stocks, stocks, property investing in general, you'll learn how to do that or at least keep up to date with it. Okay, so make sure you're following the newsletter over there. Now, let's have a look at the charts. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, the big three. Bitcoin, we are falling. $43,000. Yeah, we just saw the weekly close. As I film this, it's 11 a.m. Probably get this posted out later tonight for you guys because I just had the live stream. So either in an hour or or later tonight, I'll let that... um, settle in from the live stream. We have talked about this. So this is a, a recap and an update. Last few weeks, if you're following the channel, you know, you're subscribed, bell notification, like the video up. We're looking at the 60,500 level as the bullish momentum indicator. We need to cross that level to continue up in our bullish sense. The lows here, I was looking at $54,000 as a first sign of weakness. We've hit that a few times and we broke down from that point. So we fell below it and now we're down here. We called the crash here on the 18th of April. Video on the channel. We're posting about that. Some rules here around GAN rules. And then the next stage I'm looking at is we were tapping out. We were failing to get anywhere close to this bar. This bar is very important under Wyckoff theory. And we have just fallen away from that point. We crashed through these lows that were support at 53K. Gone past here. Fallen past this next low, and I suspect we're going to around the 41k level. That could be 39, it can be 43. The idea is to get a roadmap so you have a bit of an idea and you can trade and invest stress free. You don't need the exact number, you just need to be able to sleep easy at night and have a have a plan. If we get close to that, yes, time to put some fresh money into Bitcoin. Flip side to that is don't switch off just yet. Flip side to that is you need to be on alert because we are at levels below the all-time high. We're not charging to new highs. So things can change. We get a good buy entry. I'm going to take the buy opportunity. Then we start to uh, build our way out of this low that's looking solid. If we don't build ourselves out of that low, we need to be able to change our positions quickly so we don't lose money. The whole game of investing is to protect your capital, all right? Not just sit in here like, goose, geese, cows, sheep. Don't sit in here like sheep and let your profits erode or your new investment erode uh, just because you want to believe some other news. You've got to do work for this. I'm saying that probably to the masses and the few of you actually understand, but it's easy to just get uh, live on live on hopium and look at other news channels that are just promoting it's it's great. Everything's great. It's always going to be great and it sort of just burns into the flames. So this is the difficulty of buying the dip. We saw it here. We bought the dip. Well, I didn't, but a lot of people bought the dip. It bounced. You're feeling comfortable. Then it comes back to your dip price and you start to freak the hell out. But if you have a plan knowing that, okay, this is the level around 41K. If it drops below this level, things are going to get a little bit ugly. Then you can sell it at a small loss. All right not financial advice. This is how I play the market to stay on the right side of it, to get a good dip buy 
and know that if it doesn't go in my favor, then I know I can get out at certain price levels because of a particular reason, 40, 41K level is the level that I want to see support at. If we don't get it, then it's probably looking like we'll go a little bit further down. We've got time to look at that. So let's just keep flow, flowing with what we have here. We're, our current low is at 43,700. Let me know in the comments if you understand that. I think that's important to have a look at as well, probably in a bit more detail. So Bitcoin, that's what's on my cards here. My first buy level was 46. We've finally hit into the 46 levels, but I can see no sign of a reversal just yet. There is a light reversal here, but I don't know. I'm not sure if it's going to happen. So I'm happy to readjust my buy levels to further down until I see a sign of a reversal. So that's what I'm doing here with, uh, with Bitcoin. Ethereum, USD, 3,400, as we just talked about on the live stream as well, 28K, uh, 2,800 is a particular support zone, just as 3,100 is as well. So if I've got my other chart here, there's 50% from the major range. There's a reason why this is a major low, big volume, and the market uh, changed directions from that low. That's why it's important. So that's why I'm looking at this as a 50% level of 31. <clears throat> the next level is using this major low because that changed the market, that turned the market sentiment. That's why it's important. 2800 so somewhere between the 28 and 3200 dollar level is a good level of uh, support for uh, for ethereum eth btc has also seen a top in now we've seen it at 8.2 percent of bitcoin now we're back down to the seven percent and i suspect we'll probably go a little bit further as well ada let's clear off ada from the chart so ethereum's looking good we got our price ranges I'm not saying it looks good to be buying this second but I think long term it's still in a good a good positive light. Now, Cardano's had a little bit of a fall today. We closed at 230, which was looking strong, and we are now at 214. So the market is struggling, obviously, with Bitcoin. But ADA Bitcoin is looking okay. A little pullback from here is no big deal, in my opinion, of course, because we have seen a big break from the recent major high at 3,200 sats. So we have taken off to 5,000 sats. You've got to expect some sort of pullback eventually. We've had some good ranges out, nice range uh, from the lows at 400 sats into the tops at 1,400, pullback. Another range, pullback. Another range, probably going to get a pullback at this point if we get another day or two down. So we'll keep tracking that on the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification icon. And of course, like the video up. It does help the channel out a lot. I'll pause it for a second if you haven't done it. Thank you. All right, let's move on. Ada ETH, it is having a little bit of a struggle street at around the 50% mark. So we had a, we have, we've had a good run out of the low here on Cardano versus ETH. Let's hope that at least we just go sideways and get some uh, consolidation. Overall, if we're invested in those three, Bitcoin, ETH, Cardano, I don't see any movement needing much attention here. I've got fresh money to put in. Bitcoin is probably the place where I'm going to put it. ETH, I'd probably be putting it there if it gets to those targets. If it doesn't, no problems, but I think Bitcoin is probably going to go a bit further. ADA, in terms of fresh fiat stable coins, it's at all time highs. Look, if we get a pullback into around that $1.80 level, it sits on those highs potentially, but I, I would rather be getting into BTC and then doing the flow again. We got Bitcoin, then into major alts, then into smaller alts, and then we just continue the cycle around. So at the moment, pretty comfortable, pretty comfortable with what's here. Cardano, I want to see this start to bounce back from today. That's about it. So you guys will probably have a better idea in a few hours time, uh, maybe not live when this is posted. But the point is the overall look of these markets, the macro look, we don't need to know about it on that minute by minute, which is why it's okay to uh, check these out hours after the video has been posted is because the macro view is still bullish for Cardano. We're at all time highs. It is having a harder time because Bitcoin is also struggling. Bitcoin is well uh, well down from its all-time high. It closed slightly below its moving average, which is a, a lagging indicator, but a lot of people watch it, so important to have a look at. It did close below that level, which we will open up here, 21 week. It can be 20 or 21. I mean, you're just going to curve fit it to something that works for, for you. <laughs> But yeah, the close here is at 46,400 and the EMA is at 46,417. So we just touched a little bit below it. I suspect we'll probably bounce around in these levels for a bit of time, reaccumulate before we can get to go again. 
and I think they're probably good times to be uh, to be looking in for another fresh purchase of Bitcoin. I'm still waiting. Follow the charts, follow the channel, subscribe. As we go towards 200,000, bell notification icons are updated with these. Ethereum, Cardano, Bitcoin covered off today. Elon's tweets, long term, nothing's changed. Obviously, that's the way I'm viewing the markets. Let me know what you think. Has anything changed fundamentally from the point of view of Bitcoin? Or is it one person's opinion and everyone else reacting to that one person's opinion? Let me know in the comments down below. Share this with someone who you think is going to find some value from it and possibly help them sleep easier at night. Twitter, Instagram, follow over there. I'm going to go do some Q&A right now. And newsletter, free newsletter that is down below. If you're trading, SwiftX link is down below in the description. So catch you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.